Hello everybody, this is American Truck Simulator. I am Martin Wenzel, and today we are going to continue our new career. It'll be the first video for you guys. I already did the first job with our very excited new driver here. Yeah, he looks like a newbie. Uh, the first job was 86 miles. We are based out of Los Angeles and we drove up to Bakersfield, so we're gonna be taking a job out of Bakersfield. We made $73 on that job, and you'll see why. All right, so we got, well, we have some Volvos installed, actually. So I'm, I, I wanna take this job. I'm probably gonna take this job here with the tires. The Volvo by Frank BR pays out $104.54 a mile. That's because I'm using the Class Economy Mod. I believe it's Class Economy Mod. And it pays out 54 cents a mile. It's gonna make those payouts more in line with what real life truckers get paid out. So we're gonna be doing a lot of quick jobs to get to the point where we can even think about getting a loan or buying our own truck. Yeah, let's go with the Volvo. So Bakersfield to Oxnard. Oxnard. Tires, 54,000 pounds. Has to be there by Monday, 9.33. Yeah, three and a half hour trip. All right, here we are in the truck and it is raining here in Bakersfield. As you can see, we have, the, we have a mod that puts the information box on the bottom so that our information is right there. It doesn't take up as much room on the screen. Oh, we got some new mail. You see I press F3, it goes away, press F5, there it comes. Oop, F4, that's my adjustments. F6, F7, F8, F5 to get it back to normal. You get the, the ETA, your resting, your gas, your damage. It also adjusts the mirrors. So those, mirror, those F2 mirrors will be a little bit smaller. I usually don't play with those. Take a look outside at our truck. Nice sky blue. Uh, 53 foot pacer container. Nice sky blue Volvo. It's a nice looking truck, day cab. Our lights. Low beams and the high beams. Let's go with the low beams since it is a little cloudy and it is raining. Let's get the wipers going. And shift it into gear. I don't have the gearbox set up correctly. I have it on an 18 speed and this is probably I I don't think it's 18 speed because it's probably only 10 speed. Well what would that be? 11, 12 speed? because it, you can only, on the setup I have, the 18 speed setup, it'll get up to 5H, 5 high. Oh, we discovered a recruitment agency. All right, we have a red light up here. A little Publix truck. I have Jazzy Cat's mods. Oh, no, 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 slow down. Oh, oh, stop, stop, oh. Great, $180 red light violation. Great, we can't afford that. Now we're down to $1,393. Okay, I think I fixed the, the braking intensity. The physics mod changed it all up there, so need to turn that back up a little bit. All right, let's get going. Going past the Peterbilt dealership. Peter built dealership. Also be careful not to speed here through here. Again, the fines are gonna kill us because you know we're making 104 on this job. We've already had to pay out 180 on that red light fine. Oh, I just love the sound of this. The, I got the sound mod going. It sounds great. The engines, the blinkers, the rain, and the vehicles passing by. All right, red light here. Oh, oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. 
Stop. Oh, no, not again. Another hundred. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, adjust that rake intensity again. Make it a little bit more. Let's take this left turn. Oh, but we're already out there a little bit. Ooh, okay, don't hit that car. All right. Okay, so we've already lost $360 just in fines on the two red lights. That is not a good start. In my mod folder, I have the Project West map, which expands the highways, especially, you know, just adds more highways. And you'll really notice it around Los Angeles. The highways have been expanded to four or five lanes going each way. And with that mod, someone else has also done a sign add-on that go, you need to have Project West for it to work. And it adds in more signs like you'd see in real life. For example, county signs. You know, you are now entering Los Angeles County or Lane County or whatever it is. Um, you'll have street names on the exit signs. So instead of it just saying Ehrenberg, it'll say Ehrenberg, Juno Avenue, I think is one. You know, around Phoenix, I notice a lot of them. You know, Scottsdale. You know, just putting place names that you would see on real life freeway signs. Places are not included in this game, and so the vanilla game doesn't have them on the signs because who cares? But it just makes it more immersive. Well, I get the train sound there. Yeah, that train was a that train looked a decent size too. And you could hear the sound of the horn. Cool. All right, we'll be taking a left up here soon. And hopefully not running through another red light. Yeah, forgive my shifting. I do have it, the, the gearbox set up wrong. I will make sure before the next video, I set the gearbox based on what truck I'm in and what that truck actually has. Oh, that truck has no wheel. Okay, there are the wheels. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Ooh, that guy really took that sharp. Wiley Sanders truck lines. Okay, I don't know that. I've never seen that truck line before. Yeah, I have Jazzy Cats. Um, traffic, mods, all his trucks, cars, military cargo, so that'll be really fun to see on the road. Well, and I didn't even notice, you know, the rain has gone away too. That's nice. I, I'm using, using the graphic mod from... Uh, I think FRKN64, he's the one that makes it. I think Piva's weather is included with it now. Now, I mean, just look at that skybox. Beautiful blue sky. Not too saturated. The colors are more washed out as in real life. When, you're, when you have a bright sunny day, it's going to look more like this. Really, when we get in Los Angeles, the the concrete highways are just glare. I mean, it's just so bright. But I have to say this graphical mod really makes the game look incredibly beautiful. And it, I feel like I'm playing a new game. I, you know, I played this game over 200 hours and this is gonna be really fun going, going through with you guys because I'm just, every, everywhere I go, I'm seeing something new, new signs, new roads, and just the graphics look far better than I've ever had them set at. I also removed a ton of mods, you know, mostly trailers. I had a ton of trailers, every trailer that you could find on the Steam Workshop, and, you know, that was slowing the game down, especially, and it was crashing the game you know, with outdated trailer mods. And so I cleared out all those, just the essentials in here right now. We'll slowly add some, maybe a few trailer mods here and there. And the game seems to run quite a bit better. I mean, my frame rate is ugh. my frame rate is usually around 60 frames per second.
the road out for Project West, you can see how the road is now four lanes wide. And I don't think he pathed the AI through that fourth lane, the truck lane. You know, and he's, he's done that in other places where he expanded the highway, but not here. So you'll see all the trucks who are in that fourth lane, just as they get to this hill, they'll split right back over into that third lane, which is the vanilla truck lane. So that's really cool, having the four lanes now. Here we are going under, under the northbound I-5. I, I really like this this area. It's really cool. Down the hill. Let's make sure we don't speed. Whoa! This whoa! These guys are going really slow in this lane. All right, let's let's move over and let's move over to the far right. This sign has been modified, adding the 126, the Highway 126 on there. And we're actually gonna take the 126, California 126, over to Oxnard. Pulled out a little too early here. Uh, the Swift truck's gonna let us go. Thanks, Swift. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's get on the 126 here. this road at all from playing it before. This might be a new road actually from the Project West. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. But I don't remember this 126 and I don't remember ever taking this road before but it's been a while since I played American Truck Simulator and it's been a while since I have discovered new roads. And this graphics mod just makes everything look different. I mean, look at those clouds. It's the sky, I mean, the skybox looks great. Um, I have some great pictures of a sunset and the contrails. It's just beautiful, this graphics mod. So go out and get it. I'll put all my mods in the description below in the order I have them loading in my game. They seem to be working well. I haven't had any crashes. I've tested extensively. And you can go get them and have the game look as beautiful as this and get some extra signs, some extra roads. about half an hour before we get to our destination 20 miles okay we're getting to this big intersection interchange with the 101 in Oxnard and 
we're gonna have to go back or have to double back here. That's kind of a strange path the GPS is giving us. I wonder if we could have stayed on the five and gotten the same, gotten over here the same, cut with the 101. This is probably the shorter route. Okay, slow down. All right, it's clear there. Slow down. Killed my engine. Forgot to hit the clutch. Oh, oh. That's embarrassing. Oh, I love those sounds of the brakes. going, you know, the sign said going to Malibu, which is one of those modifications from the sign project. Alright, we're clear. Make this right turn. It looks like Volt Volt Sun Motors will be right after this red light. Oh, we got a helicopter flying over here. Maybe for the news traffic helicopter. All right, I can see the entrance right here. Let's swing out so we can get around. Looks like the drop-off zone is going to be on the right side of the building, so this is going to be a tight turn. Can we make it? Uh, let's pull up here. All right. All right, let's back up. And... Are we gonna clear that fence? All right, let's try it. Hopefully, we don't get snagged on that fence. Okay, it's gonna let us go. All right. And where is this delivery exactly? Oh, it's just a straight pull. No backing required. Is that helicopter right over our head, just watching us try to park here? Okay, dude, too much pressure. Oh, can you hear that? I can hear the someone welding here. That's just great sound. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Um, are we gonna have to back into this spot? See, I have the immersive icons on, so it just has the cones, and so it doesn't tell you, show you which direction you have to park it. Let's see. Should be fine here. All right, let's take a look at it. It looks pretty good to me. I mean, it's not completely straight, but it looks okay.
All right, let's back up a little bit more. Oh, there we go, we can... Oh, okay, it's a very small spot. Just gotta get it perfect. Right there. Oh, too far. Back it up again. Okay. Put the parking brake on. Not the perfect parking job. But we'll take it. Job completed, excellent, all right. 132 miles, three hours, 52 minutes, 32 and a half gallons of fuel consumed. Our base reward, $104 and 107 experience, and then the bonus to park the trailer, 20. So 127 experience, $104, but we lost 360 for the red light violations, so win. It's gonna take us a while to level up here. We've been taking some short jobs, and it'll start coming along as we level up, getting longer jobs. Okay, well, our truck driver looks ready for another job, but this is where I leave you guys until next time. Take care.